China just put a trigger on a massive trillion dollar stimulus package into its economy. So everyone is wondering, is it a golden opportunity to make a big gain or is it signaling that things are going to get worse? Stick around to the end of the video to find out and don't forget to comment below in the section. And give this video a like if you think this is helpful. So we already have seen the big movement for the Chinese benchmark indices like CSI 300, FSTE and MCSI has gone up by more than 25% since the announcement made on 24th September 2024. So what's going on with China economy? It has weak export, rising youth unemployment rate and challenging real estate sector, especially with the collapse of one of the largest property developers, Evergrande, a few years ago that collapsed under billion dollars in debt. And now, the government is trying to pump in money into its economy to save the country, especially the real estate sector. So, the burning question is, is it the time to panic or is it the time to profit? So let's get started to understand and stick around to find out our insights. So let's start with the history. This is not the first time that China authority pump in money to the economy. They do that whenever there is a tough time. Remember in 2008, during the global financial crisis, China has actually pumped in over $500 billion into the economy, injected into infrastructures, and it works. Back in 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, yeah, they used the same stimulus strategies to help the businesses and stable the unemployment. In 2022, they again pumped in money to save the small businesses after the long period of lockdown. And now, what is happening and what are we looking at this round of stimulus package? This time, the stimulus package is not like the history. It is more intense in terms of the nominal value of the money that they put in. It is one of the largest in the history. And it is more intentional, meaning they targeted on the sector like real estate, infrastructure, green energy and consumer spending sectors. Well, so is it a time to panic? Here is why uh, you should, and this is just our insight. Firstly, to understand, they have these challenging real estate sectors. Their property market was in deep trouble with the collapse of Evergrande under billion dollars in debt, even though with the government effort. And they are the oversupply of housing in the country. So with this stimulus package, with the intentional easing of monetary policy, meaning lowering down the down payment ratio and uh, interest rate, will this be helpful? It is still need time to observe if the government is serious about this. And of course, this really depends on the credit demand of the people. Here's another red flag. China youth unemployment rate is rising over 17% in July, meaning people, young people in the age group between 16 to 24, they are not in school and they are not earning income. This will be hurting the retail economy, the consumer goods sectors. And the last one is the export-oriented tech companies. It's like Huawei and Tencent that rely on export to other countries they are facing challenges because of the ongoing US-China trade tension, which is still ongoing. And also, China companies that rely on global cooperation, just like Apple, they have shifted their entire manufacturing operations, uh, the manufacturing of iPhone 16 to India. This will be putting, on, putting more strain on tech companies in China. And here's another thing, what sector will profit from this stimulus package. Here are some of the targeted sectors that the China government is working on. Firstly, is the infrastructure uh, sectors. Infrastructures like railway, roads and buildings. Companies like China Railway Group, uh, China State uh, Construction Engineering are probably going to benefit from the line of government 
projects and contracts uh, because of the more stimulus package bumping to help these infrastructure projects in the countries. And second is the real estate sector. As we say, the government is trying to uh, boost this real estate sector given the collapse of some property developers. Stable companies like Country Garden, they are still maybe able to benefit from this uh, stimulus package given the government has decided to lower the down payment ratio and the mortgage rate, encourage more home buyers in the country. Of course, here's another thing that we need to observe the oversupply issues and uh, the weak credit demand of the people in the country. And the package is also focusing to boost up the consumer goods and retail sector. So this will benefit to the companies like the e-commerce giant like Alibaba, JD.com and Pintoto. In fact, we already can see the positive In fact, given the, their stock has already skyrocketed to over 20 to 30 percent in the past two weeks because of the renewal of optimism into this uh, e-commerce sector. And lastly, it's, it's a green economy. So China is doubling down into a green economy and electric vehicle. So companies like BYD and NIO is going to benefit from these subsidies and incentives. Well, so it's, now it's a question, would you be taking this opportunity to go in or stay at the sideway? And which sector will actually be the winners and which sector are going to be the losers? So it really depends on how you look at this. Be cautious of the pace of recovery as China authorities is known for being uh, intentionally to pump up its stock market uh, in the history. So we need to observe more of the announcement after this golden week. How are they going to implement this to help the certain sectors that they mentioned? And given that if the government is serious, we will be probably seeing the stock market to continue to rally for another 6 to 12 months. Comment below in the session uh, to share your thoughts. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for this channel and like this video if you think this is helpful. Stay tuned for more insights from us. Thank you for watching this. See you again. China stage construction engineering are probably ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> companies like and um, Tencent and Huawei. Sweet.